Hello, welcome back to Let's Play... Let's see... Oh, so right arm is not good. Okay. So... We're going to get some here to get some evasion back. We're going to build up Vigilance, and we're going to do some multi-targeting. And away we go. Not enough, but yes. SRM carrier. Yes, oh no, 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 no. Engaging target. Now they're going to do a lot of moving. I am going to lose an arm. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Okay, rounder. What do you need? Heading out. Primary target damage. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. Okay, that's some um, action economy achieved. Let's achieve more action economy. That wasn't as much action economy as I wanted. Okay. It's a centurion. This is the SRM. The SRM quite frankly, is going to F me up. That went from... Enemy down. 
Okay. That is more action economy Engaging maintained. Dumpstead. Okay. How did you go from being almost untouched to just having a arm gone? That's that's the demolisher, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's a friggin' gun on wheels. Warning. Armor low. I am aware. Yes, Commander. Okay. Targeting for an alpha strike. Really? to expose your back that way. Vehicle trashed. Here comes the demolisher again. Okay. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. I am aware. I am going to let's see. Blackjack Centurion. Let's take the Blackjack. They have I'm going to do Vigilance. Engaging physical attack. That was a fair amount of damage. They went from untouched to no torso, no arm. Missing a torso and an arm. Ow. Demolisher, please make it go away. Firing on target. You didn't make it go away. <laughs> I'm going to lose another piece of gear. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Where's yeah, you. Engaging physical attack. Okay. Cool. Enemy mech destroyed. Ready for orders. Uh rounder. I'm here. Step on that. Roger. Ugh. Are you kidding me? Negative damage. Waiting for orders. Get your lance to the LZ commander. Finally. Okay, we now have Action Economy. And we're going to need it. Oh, you're a gunner. 
Yes, Commander. No, no, no. We'll go. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of accuracy. On the move. There we go. Uh huh. Please don't go boom. Armor breached. Internal damage. Standing by. Punch it. Got past the armor. Orders? Do you have a rear arc? Now you do. Sure. Well, that wasn't quite a rear arc. Dang. This one's the one that's hurt more. Oh, nice. I was thinking that thing was going to go deal with that. Okay. Commander. Fleshy. Okay. Can you... If we get here, you have all your gear. Affirmative. And they'll actually be able to see you for the first time this entire fight. I'll do that. Affirmative. Yes, that's a missile that's weapon. That's gonna hurt. It is indeed. Yes, Commander. Oh, I could do a death from above and and waste a lot of money. Firing all weapons. There we go. Acknowledged. Oh, there you are. Ah. Nice. Scored a critical hit. Do you have anything left? You have some missiles. Did you break anything? You did not break anything. Uh All these missions where the question is, am I, is it costing me more than I'm getting? No damage You're still up? Wow, you're still active? Standing by. Giving him everything I've got. Holy crud. Confirmed. Enemy turn. Do you really want to keep fighting? The answer appears to be yes. Did you break anything on me? You did not. I'm here. Oh, so that's how that works. Okay, Arius is giving me the green light to land immediately. Hold position. Mission successful. And uh, I'm not sure you call that successful. Okay, 
Okay. Uh, take this. Oh yes, take that. And take that. Give me stuff to sell. BJ1. Hopefully I can tell the difference between mine and the and the my sentimental one and the one I'm going to sell. Okay. I got some XP out of that too. Finally, the details on our trip to our true Commander Pope Faden. With luck, the map Dr. Murad has discovered will lead us straight to Castle Nautilus. The contract is ready for review in the command center. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Cool. Now we're going to sell it. As soon as the game unfreezes. Okay, uh, mech bay, dragon, refit, what did we lose? We lost an AC-5, okay, it was not a special AC-5, it was just an AC-5, so that cost us 72, okay, it is looking like know when that's done. We... Oh... Sort of made a... Um, this one is going is the new one. And where is the other... We're keeping the BGA one that we started with just for sentimental reasons. It's our ancestral mech. Oh, come on. I want to... What is this? Scrap mech for sea bills. Let me... 280. Let's go to the store. Oh no, I sold both. Oh no. Oh well. Did not mean to do that. I'm Okay, is is there an after post mission? Yeah. Okay. The Mackie was developed by scientists and military of the Terran Hedge Amani in 2439. Okay, so back to the mech bays. Curious. Yeah, no. Um, why would we want to scrap it if selling it is more... a lot more sea bills? Okay, we definitely made a profit on that. Okay. What can I do? 
What do you think of the plan to raid Castle Nautilus? It's going to be interesting. Never thought I'd be going grave robbing, but the life of a mercenary is full of surprises. I do have to say the prospect of getting to work on SLDF Battlemex is intriguing as hell. I'm doing my best not to salivate just thinking about it. Okay. Talk to you later. Uh, mech base. Repair. Yep. Whole lot of money. It's worth noting. Replacing the dragon's arm is less of a cost than all the internal damage the Banshee took. Oh, I have a quick draw. I need to start using that. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's talk to Farah. Yeah, boss? Other black boxes on the Argo. What else do you think we might find on this ship? Beats me. Probably nothing worth over with overt value. Anything that even remotely resembled a weapon or tool would have been salvaged by the pirates a long time ago. But as we've seen already seen, there are many different forms of treasure, and some are more cleverly hidden than others. It's an interesting position to be in. We've still got a lot of wasted space on the ship. Rooms full of old trash that could be cleared out and retrofitted. At least I think it's trash, but what if it isn't? What if clearing out one of these rooms, I wind up scrapping something that could help us down the road? Okay... Don't be a stranger, Commander. Um, I think you are still doing an upgrade. Yes, there's an upgrade in process. The medical is going to be completely filled up in a little bit. Um, let's look at my mech warriors. You don't have enough to advance anything. I await your command. You weren't involved. Barrister. In a little bit, I can get you Master Tactician. I think I'll wait then. Receiving you. You didn't get Receiving anything. You. I can get you stuff. Having another Ace Pirate pilot is not a terrible idea. Training confirmed, Commander. Yes, Commander. Hi, Falconer. I glitch. Aye, aye. You don't have enough to level anything up. Commander. What do you need? If I save a little bit, I can get either piloting or guts. And I think... Going for the coolant vent isn't a terrible... But we have two sixes. Let's get you some gunnery. Mech warrior training complete. Waiting for orders. Mm-hmm. Let's get rid of these. Let's get you up to four across the board. Um, okay. Uh, talk to Farah. Let's talk to Sumire. I don't think she's going. How can I help, Commander? Oh, I think I made my feelings on the matter pretty clear. It's a bad idea. No, scratch that. It's a shockingly bad idea. We should be focusing on the war against the Directorate. Instead, we're taking massive diversion, heading into the middle of Directorate space, where we'll dig for buried treasure that might or might not kill us. Look, I know everybody's really excited about the prospect of finding a Star League Defense Force battle mechs, but, and I do get what that would mean, but seriously, Commander, we're betting an awful lot on a hunch, don't you think? Between you and me, I agree with you, but our client thinks differently. If, if there's a chance... I think I agree with Sumir. Yeah, I get that, and obviously we have to do what our incredibly wealthy client wants. I don't know. If this thing goes off without a hitch and we wind up with a hilt full of priceless battle mix, I'll be the first to say I'm sorry. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. I like you. Commander? And I wish I knew pr knew exactly the which how your name is pronounced. I don't like that I'm not entirely sure. You got questions? I have answers. Got any opinions on the lost tech hunt the restoration sent you, son? 
Generally, I'd say Lost Tech is great if you can find it, but hunting for it is usually a waste of time. That isn't our decision to make, though. This is Lady Arano's job, and it's the Arano Restoration ship. We're just long for the ride. I have to say, though, it is a little weird that this castle Nautilus is on R2. When I left that system, I intended never to go back. I certainly didn't think I'd ever be putting people on the surface. Not on purpose, anyway. Not for a damn treasure hunt. Okay. You know where to find me. And you? What do you need? I'd like to discuss the state of a war. It is in a state of flux. If we find what we're looking for on R2, the entire face of the war could change. There are no guarantees, of course, but I'm optimistic. In Camilla's eyes, this is one step removed from prophecy. Her father's stories and predictions come to life. Strange that she's so interested in the Star League. Star League? The SLDF brutalized the periphery. That's true. The Star League was abusive and cruel to our people, and the Amorous Civil War was a direct result. Camilla knows all of this as well as anyone, as did her father. Lady Arano isn't trying to revive the Star League's culture. She doesn't blindly worship their decadence and callousness, not as those in the Inner Sphere do. When she was a child, perhaps, but not anymore. What she's after is their technology, the tools they used to oppress us once upon a time. And she will turn those tools to our purpose for the good of the Reach. What do you think we're going to find on R2, D2? Honestly, I can't say. Perhaps we'll find an ar the army full of battle mechs that Dr. Murad alluded to, or functional memory core full of Star League era secrets and technology, or maybe we'll find nothing at all. One thing I can tell you for certain is there isn't a government in the periphery, periphery or the inner sphere for that matter that wouldn't strip R2 bare to claim Castle Nautilus. It's a damn lucky thing we're getting there first. I guess we'll see what happens when we get there. Let's talk about something else. I think I've asked all these other questions. Yes. Until next time. And time for a new video. See you in a moment.